for a weapons question it is submitted that vibrations make patterns that resonate with memory patterns to appear as am experiences but what about energy needed for all this i thought over it can it be explained as the amplitude associated with this disturbances coming out from infinite potential in the same way we, uh, can energy deficiency can be explained as a phase difference and transmittance for this disturbances thinking all this leads to the desires in the end it seems all these vibrations are attracted by the desires want replicated in the terms of amplitude and form from the infinite potential kindly comment well is good thinking by vipin very good uh, line of thinking there your intellect is clearly working nicely but uh, you forget that uh, the vibration is not something which has energy you are asking what about the energy needed for all, for all these things so don't forget that the vibration is energy the vibration is change change is you know energy is simply a quantity which measures change more change more energy less change less energy so it is only change pure change it is not that there is something and then we need to put some energy from somewhere no there is pure change only it is energy only it is not matter and then you know put energy in it and starts vibrating no no that is the wrong concept you know that is the biggest mistake in the science that they thought that the matter is dead and you need something called energy to energize it it came from the occult actually the occult has this term called energy and it is used to describe the ability to move the, the non living things cannot move by themselves you know, although it's not true you know the fire moves and the air moves the water moves but we say that they are mechanical it's not voluntary movement so it it was borrowed from the occult because it looks like that living things like humans have this energy in them the the meaning of the word energy is internal urge en means it is internal and urge comes from the same root as the urge will like you said it come boils down to desires in the end yes yes you're right your introspection is very nice actually surprising well he is newcomer <laughs> he is still going into the depths so energy is, can be simply said to be the inner urge to change there is is not something internal i'm sorry it's not something external you do not need energy it's already there the shakti the devi is already the essence of experience you know if this mistake is corrected in the science the science will take a ne- next leap only this much the dissociation of the matter from the energy was the biggest mistake in science i don't know who who did that it was not like this in the past they had the correct understanding it happened in the ages of ignorance the age of ignorance which we call the dark age kaliyug where this corruption happened in the knowledge it's very good very good question like nikola tesla said no think about vibration energy and frequency and you will know what this whole experience is you will know this dream you will know this illusion think in terms of vibration energy and frequency that is what i have done isn't it that is what is done in our program the path of knowledge program isn't it all patterns which of different frequencies that combine together and isn't the pattern a vibration yes isn't the vibration an energy or change yes so you see i consider tesla as a spiritual seeker he was a master actually guru only that he was kind of <laughs> in a wrong place you see so second question of vipin is irreducibles are the unit experiences and uh, not part of local memory means no such pattern pre exists in local memory for resonance so these irreducible patterns from np and m directly hits the experiencer to limit it but how can experiencer be limited shouldn't these patterns pre exist for resonance some medium in required in between to shine as the experience no there is nothing in between actually you can clearly see that there is nothing at all except the irre- irreducibles that is our direct experience 
and the rest of the mechanism is then a model scientific model of why they are irreducible it answers the question you see the local memory and all these things are just cooked up i mean they are valid theories good models very useful actually very useful but in the end there is only the experience and since it is limited is actually the existence we say that the existence has limited itself in the form of the irreducible and it is not pre-existing there is nothing pre-existing in the existence there is no pre and post remember it is timeless it happens in that instant the present moment the irreducible happens in the present moment there is no it is not stored in the memory you see memory is a fiction it's, it's concept only or if you consider as it as the, as the truth then patterns are stored in the memory not the irreducibles the irredu- the patterns appear as irreducible this is how we say it so who else is there which becomes limited there is nothing nobody else except the existence nothing else so that's why at one point i say that when i see the red i become the red and many people got kind of <laughs> confused by that i shouldn't have said that but i left it there you know as as a homework think about it and i think vipin is thinking about it very good i i am the existence and when that is how i limit myself i become that and i know it is kind of beyond intellect here i can definitely say i cannot think more than this my intellect is limited here like this so i invite everybody to introspect about this thing not no in between medium no nothing the red is the existence i am that i am the irreducible that's why it's called irreducible or the tan matras nothing can be measured below this matra means measurement tan means the smallest basic fundamental so there is no corresponding english word so i had to invent irreducible there is something called kalya but you know, the kalya has been discussed so much and nobody knows what it is so i had to invent something new to finally clearly clearly put it to rest now there is no doubt now there is there will be no question about what this is what is the red color it is me and no you cannot know more than that <laughs> the intellect knows only names and forms it does not know the fundamental hopefully vipin is happy with my answers if you are not you are most welcome to ask again yes think think about my answers and then you can cross question me so i'm happy with your progress very nice when i when i when i see these kind of questions makes me very happy that you know our program is working people are getting really deep knowledge from that yes my uh, intention was just to introduce you to the non dual path or the path of knowledge advait but you see once you start grasping it you will go deeper naturally you will go deeper and uh, once you start asking questions your ignorance will drop completely like he asked about let me uh, let me experience the emptiness now simply asking just cleared it just cleared the confusion there yes think in this direction okay there is i think there is a question by sandhya that uh, we get the emptiness once we go beyond the experience yes we get the emptiness as the essence of the experience and the experiencer and the existence and experiencing we get the emptiness do not try to know the emptiness be the emptiness be the emptiness is not a bad thing it is bad to be something else sanjit is asking everything we see has a dependent existence so is there anything that depend on any independent existence well dependent existence means that existence means that one thing appears out of other thing and there is nothing here it is about the it is about the illusion it is saying these these things apply to the illusion that there is nothing which seems to be the source of the illusion the cold depends on the hot and the darkness depends on the lightness and so on in the independent that which is independent is the experiencer it depends on nobody arun is saying the whole existence is a concept right now we see that something is there but nothing is there it's only i who uh, observing myself and all the experience army observing myself i be whatever i experience 
we do not call the existence as a concept you see existence is very much here that's all there is you see so if it is a concept the concept must be an idea in the mind now you can say ex- that, that means the existence is in the mind no that's not possible concept is just a thought in the mind but existence is not a thought in the mind because if it is a thought in the mind then it's already existence the mind and whatever who is holding the concept is already there that is the real existence not the concept of it so it looks like arun has a little bit of confusion but the rest of your sentence is right that whatever it is it is it is that which is observing itself you see that existence is holding itself as a concept in it in itself you can say like this the existence has evolved you know things like humans and all that can hold itself as a concept in their minds but it is so twisted you know it is so confusing that is simply drop all this philosophy and we say that existence is all there is and it is looking at itself the dream is real <laughs> i i say that the dream is the only reality the reality is this illusion only there is no other reality but the word reality is not really used in our talk we we say truth so that is more accurate the reality is used in a very very you can say rough manner but you should not should not connect the word existence with the dream existence is not a dream existence is not only a dream there is dream there and there is non dream there there is everything there so we do not say that the existence is dream probably you need to go and check the definition of existence once more because it looks like you have a confusion about the existence there is everything there probably you are calling that which is manifested as existence no our definition is totally different that which is manifested is called the illusion <laughs> not the existence so probably there is a confusion okay we've been saying if desires attract all what changes are attracted depends on will but unwanted changes vibrations also appear does it relate to impure will less intense will is it there is nothing which is unwanted the the word unwanted is then attached by the mind or the ego and what has already happened whatever happens is all wanted otherwise it won't happen it is all willed like we say the desires appear out of the memory as a natural process nobody does it really you can say the existence did it is is not correct to say that also so when we say accurately we say that the uh, desires appear and then depending on the biases present in that creature a human being or whoever is uh, wherever they appear to be you know they find an outlet in these creatures so that uh, person or the human then stamps them as wanted or unwanted so it is like this the thought that it was unwanted and it comes later so there is no such thing as impure will or less intense will no 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 nothing like this the will is primordial the rest of the things happen out of the will is after the will is already there it is the primary force the ego decides what is wanted and unwanted depending on its needs like its primary need is survival so something which evokes fear or anger or something in you you see it as a uh, countering the survival you see it not favorable for survival and then you put the stamp of unwanted no 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 this should not be here this desire or these these thoughts they should not be there but you see it's already manifested all you can do is you know not act on them and that is also another desire that says they do not act on them <laughs> it is it is funny but this is how it is there's nobody to even put the stamp on them there's nobody it's a play it was a nice satsang and i hope everybody enjoyed it everybody got their answers and hopefully you are enjoying the program also and i'll meet you next time thank you very much for att- attending the meeting <laughs>